One of our favorite conversations is how to keep seniors in their homes more comfortably for as long as possible. And we're here with Susan Papiri, who's one of the co-founders of the Senior Senior Care Hero Awards, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're part of Senior Serve, yes. which is the Meals on Wheels for Senior Care? We sure are. We do Meals on Wheels, mm -hmm. uh, Senior Nutrition and Safety Net Services for Central and North Orange County. Amazing, how long have you been doing that? Uh, I have personally been helping out with that for about seven years, and uh, I've been in the senior care industry for much longer than I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, and we will cry because we answer the same. That's right. We answer the same. That's right. But Senior Serve has been around for over a long fifty years. Time. Yeah. yeah, and they provide a lot, quite a lot of service. We do, uh, like I said, the Meals on Wheels. We do the um, lunch cafes at the senior centers about mm -hmm. 19, 20, no, 23 senior centers. Wow. Mm. Uh, and we do two adult day health care centers, mm -hmm. uh, one in Santa Ana, one in Anaheim. We do just a social model. It's just an adult daycare out of the Buena Park Senior mm. Center. Um, and we do care coordination. And we do a lot of collaborative work with the other senior facing nonprofits and people who want to support that. Um, our CEO, Holly Hagler, is amazing in that she is always looking to collaborate and it's a big problem and mm -hmm. she knows it's going to take a big solution. And so she's working with a lot of other like-minded people um, to make that happen. Mm -hmm. We're very involved in something called uh, OCAS, the Orange County Aging Services Alliance. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Collaborative, um, uh, the um, Orange County Strategic Plan for Aging, mm -hmm. um, something that's a really big, mm -hmm. big job, but mm -hmm. we need to make sure that we've got a plan mm -hmm. because we've got the largest population of seniors growing in the nation. Wow. In Orange County? In Orange County. Really? It yes. makes so much sense. It, it does. does. Who wants to leave? Who wouldn't want to live here, mm -hmm. first of Exactly. All. And right. the minute you have a, an opportunity to choose where to live, isn't climate the first thing you look at? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with um, dealing with, hey, I don't want to be shoveling snow anymore. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get around. I don't, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know how a lot of people live in that condition mm -hmm. in their own homes. Mm -hmm when you have to deal with that kind of weather. But here it's so easy yep. and it's so agreeable and it makes sense. Well, I wanted my parents to retire out here and we gave them a choice. You've got to live near one of us. I'm in mm -hmm. California, my brother's in Maryland. Yeah, that would be no so, choice for me. Yeah, me <laughs> Except he had the trump card, which was the grandkids. Oh. Oh. So the agreement was that they would live near him 12 minutes away because why not? That being grandparents is mm -hmm. their greatest joy, and they could come out here whenever they want. Oh, there and you go. so that really works out perfectly for that us. That is perfect. Uh, but for a lot of people, that option doesn't exist. No, it doesn't. And, and, so. and so we need to help them stay where they are as safely as possible, maintaining their dignity, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. not having to choose between paying rent for paying for medication or food. Mm -hmm. Those are the hardest things too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to we are to. the food solution at least, plus a lot more. You know, mm, the, I love that. We also do case management. Mm -hmm. So that means every person that's on Meals on Wheels has a case manager that checks in with them. They're the person that brings them into the program, mm -hmm. they do the assessment, and then they check in on them uh, either by phone and or sometimes just in person depending on what the, what's going on with that person. Mm. And that way we make sure that, hey, they don't have a microwave that's working anymore or they don't have a bed. Mm -hmm. They have a thin mattress laying on the floor, nothing else. I just, I just talked to a client. It, I, it's really hard for me to get in and out of bed. I, do you think you guys might be able to help me? I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, I just have the mattress. Mm. called my social services department, talked to the case manager, and they're working on getting him a box spring and a frame. Yeah. Mm. You know, because these are things that sometimes people will give gift cards throughout the mm -hmm. year or whatever, and we can mm -hmm. maybe use that for something. Sometimes we'll get little grants. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes a, a person will make a larger donation. It just depends. So um, 
let's say for our audience here, you know, a lot of Laguna Woods are, would, are the adult children where they have parents who are really aging, mm -hmm. right? So this is a very active and vibrant community. We do have the skilled nursing close by, um, but I think f uh, many of us in the community are the adult children taking care of our parents, mm -hmm. right? So what what are some signs that you know what what could we see about our parents where we would know to call you well i would say things like um first of all it, what's in the refrigerator oh good you know i could just it's take start. a look Check at the, in the refrigerator, refrigerator see if the groceries are see stopped. if there are things in there see look in the freezer see what kind of things are in the mm -hmm. freezer Probably look, look the in the trash can yeah. and see if there's a lot of mcdonald's bags or mm -hmm. or if they're eating at all dollar menu mm -hmm. you know that kind mm -hmm. of thing mm -hmm. um, good idea because a lot of times they'll, if it's just them, let's face it, I don't know if you've ever just been living on your own, mm -hmm. but it gets really tedious mm -hmm. to cook for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And you s eat with yourself, yeah. you know? <laughs> I mean, I know you can sit in front of the television, but it's, it's a little lonely to just mm -hmm. do that. So mm -hmm. if you have nutritious food, because you can eat food and it's not nutrition. Yeah. Um, so if you have nutritious food, that's going to keep, maybe you've got a disease process going on and it's mm -hmm. gonna keep that at bay. Mm -hmm. um, and that it's going to help you to make it easy for you so you don't have to think, well, I'm kinda hungry, but I don't really feel like making anything. Mm -hmm. I'll just have some crackers. Mm. I'll just have a bowl of cereal. That sounds like me in college. <laughs> <where I> would, <laughs> sadly, I, I would make myself a, a stove top stuffing and yeah. stick it in the fridge and I would just pull it out, eat more, put it back in, pull it out, okay, eat more. Okay, stop. You're giving people ideas. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Don't do it. It is a terrible <laughs> idea. But I think the, uh, the, point, the point really is the same way I just went to visit my 91-year-old uncle. And, of course, I know he loves bagels. But then what do we put on the bagel that's going to be nutritious for him? So mm -hmm. bringing him the sandwich ability, knowing that if he has the bagel that he loves, he'll actually do something with it. Yeah. And, and the thing is, too, I mean... People are going to eat what they want to eat, right. mm -hmm. but if they have an option to at least have one nutritious meal, and we, we do three, mm -hmm. you know, there's a mm -hmm. lot of different wonderful nutrition providers uh, around the world, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, sure. and some of them can only do one meal a day, like a mm -hmm. hot lunch. We actually do provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner five days a week. That's wow. amazing. And so... Is, is it just delivered right to them? Or? It's delivered to them, wow. yeah. Um, our wonderful, wonderful drivers they're mostly volunteers. Mm. Um, we have 600 volunteers mm. doing all kinds of different things, obviously That's not remarkable. just driving, right. and we could not survive without them. So yay, volunteers. Yay, and volunteers. Isn't, <laughs> isn't that, for the perfect segue, isn't that where the Senior Care Hero Awards came from? It, well, it, what happened was we started this, this really small group of people mm -hmm. that were in a collaborative together. And we had people from all different parts of healthcare and senior care. And uh, we wanted to make things easier for people in our area. Mm -hmm. um, and I was working at the time for a skilled nursing company. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even working for Senior Serve yet. And um, we wanted to make things easier for them to find information. So we thought, how do we get the word out that we're doing this? And we thought, well, we'll have a a big to-do, we'll have a gala, mm -hmm. what should we do? So we talked about it and we came up with the idea of having kind of the Academy Awards type of gala. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Well, we're, we want to recognize people who serve seniors mm -hmm. or maybe who are seniors and have done something notable or are still serving their mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. So there was a few things going on there. Mm -hmm. We said, you know, we want this to be a charitable, ev charitable event let's figure out who that should be. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's seniors, senior serve kind of was a no-brainer mm -hmm. for us, so we contacted them. They were delighted to mm -hmm. receive that. So we did the first one at the Nixon Library. Nice. And we had about 200 people, and we raised about 2,200, 22,000, excuse me, dollars, and we were just thrilled that we did that. Amazing. And then we, were, we thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work You're like, it was all paper based last that was it yeah. yeah so but then two uh two of our main founders had gone to uh holly mm -hmm. the, my now ceo and said hey our collaborative's kind of getting absorbed into another bigger one mm -hmm. but we think this is a really good event for you if you would like to take it over 
then we'll still kind of be involved and, mm. and support it and help help you. Mm -hmm. Holly loved that idea. She got right into it, right behind it, started working with the, the IT people mm -hmm. to create a website so that we didn't have to worry about taking nominations on paper and anything mm -hmm. on paper. Mm -hmm. And um, it just kind of grew from there and it became the Senior Care Hero Awards benefiting Senior Serve mm -hmm. uh, at that point. So we were one more year at uh, at the Nixon Library, and that was the year that I was actually the chairperson. Although when Holly asked me, I said no, because <laughs> I it's it a like lot a job. of work, it and like I have job. another job. You yeah, know? Right. but I just I couldn't I couldn't say no to her. Mm -hmm. So um, so we I went ahead and did it, still working in the, as the for the other company and mm -hmm. volunteering to do this. And and the people that are on our council of advisors all are volunteering to do this and wow. many of them are still original to that group they're that's, they're that's the a little founding testament. core of that's people. amazing mm -hmm. it is amazing yeah, that shows that shows what a great program you have to have that stickiness you know yeah. amount of stickiness it's yeah really we're amazing. pretty proud of it and uh, and you have an event coming up we do so. um, the neat thing is that from June 1st through August 31st is when a lot of the stuff is happening mm -hmm. so nominations and voting are going on right now okay. oh, that's so exciting. it's Academy Awards people need to be nominated so <laughs> oh, we can have right. a recipient you created your own Academy yes that's right. so. and who is eligible to participate okay so anybody can nominate or vote the people that uh, would be nominated there are six professional categories mm -hmm. and there are three people's choice categories okay. mm -hmm. so you've got caregiver social worker nurse physician executive director and then there's a senior care professional category that's kind of a other mm -hmm. okay. category mm -hmm. that allows for anybody else in the healthcare field that doesn't fit into those mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got the people's choice you've got veteran hero mm -hmm. volunteer hero of course mm -hmm. and then senior uh, excuse me family member hero so somebody okay. who mm -hmm. is caring for a family member sure. that they're not a professional caregiver mm -hmm. they're a heart caregiver right mm -hmm. so so it's the above and beyond and that is it yeah. anybody going above and beyond a job description or what somebody would expect in a life That's yeah wonderful Amazing. and all of this information is on your website is yes that right? it is yeah. and can you give our viewers the website oh yes so it's easy because it's senior care hero awards <laughs> dot org it's all together uh, awards has an s at the end and if you just go online, you can do a really quick little registration. Mm -hmm. None of that information goes anywhere but to us. Okay. Okay. And um, the only reason we do that is because if, they, if then you vote or if mm -hmm. we have to ask you a question about the person you nominated, we have your information. Sure. That's great. Yeah. Well, I hope our viewers will absolutely tune in there. Oh, I believe I they will. So. Absolutely. And I Susan, so. thank you so much for sharing this with us. Thank we you really very much. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Thank you.